All right, guys, here we go. We're looking at clubos. This is a four inch clubo. As you can see, it laminates pretty well. And for a long time, this was probably my favorite most bait. Hey, we have focus. And then this is the five inch clubo. And a lot of guys looked at this and said, wow, that's a big bait. And it also laminates really well. This, and this particular one, I used a tail mold to shoot a different color tail. Uh, now we're going to look at... Oh, camera's moving. It's shaking. Camera quake. The 6-inch clubo. As you can see, they laminate fairly well, too. And I also used a tail mold for that one. Nice black tail like a little baby bass in a baby bass pattern bait. And as you can see, the uh, whole mold injected with a nice laminate pattern. All seven baits in that mold. And here's the tails and the tail mold. If you're familiar with some of my comments about mold making, you'll know that I like to keep the gates very, very short. That way there's not a lot of aluminum between the runner and the cavity to suck the heat out of the plastic and freeze the gate off. Well, this is a relatively small amount of plastic um, and I had a reason for wanting to keep the runner long on this. I wanted it long so there was room for this little ball in the middle here. And when you look at the individual tails, you see I cut it off right behind that ball so that when you drop them into the mold, clank, drop it into the mold like that, you, the plastic runs around that, that runner and that ball and it's allow, it allows it to heat it more because it's got hot plastic all around it but as well as a little bit of a fusion bond you also get a mechanical bond like the tab on a puzzle piece and then to make it work a little bit better so that you don't get overshoot well I guess if you put enough pressure on it you can get overshoot on any tail I've actually cut the tails in the tail mold about a thousandth of an inch bigger all the way around so that they kind of form their own seal in the mold there it is, the 6-inch Clubo, the new addition to the Clubo family, along with the 5-inch that we've made for ages, and the 4-inch, which was the very first one I ever made long before I ever started selling molds.